The first few years I owned my dump trailer, the battery would last less than a year. So I decided to install a solar trickle charger. I'm glad I did. The last time a battery failed, it had lasted more than six years. I've had similar great results from uh, using solar chargers on my generator and on my tractor. Batteries installed in equipment you use on a daily basis, such as your car, can last for years. But when you have equipment you use very infrequently, they tend to die very quickly. Trickle chargers can extend the life of the battery immensely. However, most of them needs to be plugged into an outlet. I prefer just to have a solar panel taken care of it uh, continuously. To use a solar panel, you need a solar controller. I've used this type on my tractor uh, last. However, I noticed it was failing. Here you see it working normally. The trouble was that after the so solar voltage uh, being zero for some time, like at night, it would automatically switch to load mode. Theoretically, this should not discharge the battery, but in fact it does. So time for a new controller. I've had the best luck with this type of uh, solar controllers for small equipment. It's a little more expensive than the others, but dirt cheap compared to a new battery. The old controller I had installed on a 3 inch uh, aluminum angle stock. I should be able to reuse that bracket. These are the most common plugs for small solar panels. Unfortunately, it seems there's no standard to polarity, so pay attention to that. Some panels come with polarity adapters, like these shown here. They're called SAE connectors, and as you can see, you can get some that you, you can attach directly to the frame. This will be attached to the panel side of the controller. As for the battery, I use EC5. Uh, connectors. I'll show you here in a second why. You can buy the EC5 connectors to solder yourself or with wires or plugs or all sorts of configurations. They're typically used in uh, remote control applications. The reason I like these is that uh, more and more modern uh, jump starters and battery chargers are using these types of plugs. I rewired my own battery charger uh, to use them. Uh, my jump starters all have these types of plugs. It's much easier and safer to plug your jump starter into one of these rather than have your hands uh, close to moving parts of the engine. All done. I hope this video gave you some ideas on how to keep your own batteries healthy. You can find links to all the parts in the description below. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.